Hey guys, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. So last week, I put up a poll for my next video and gained over 1000 votes almost instantly. Almost 60% of you guys wanted to see Valorant Network Fixing Guide. So here we are today, I'll be showing you guys an absolute fix to all your network problems with this one video. So make sure to watch it till the end. Also, if this video helps you in any means, consider subscribing to the channel since 96% of you guys aren't a part of my family yet. I really Really want to see that 50k subscribers on the channel so smash that subscribe button and with all this said let's roll the intro all right so step number one is creating a restore point and this is really simple press your windows key and then search for create a restore point then over here select your local disk c or any drive which says system over here then click on configure and make sure turn on system protection is enabled then click on create and name it whatever you want for me i'm gonna be naming it network fix now this is just a fail safe method if anything goes wrong you can always restore back your system to its original state next is disabling the startup app and this is really simple as well press your Control shift and escape all together and task manager will pop right in front of you guys over here you need to locate the fourth tab which says startup and then disable all the unwanted applications you want all these files, all these applications start consuming your internet right from the boot of your computer. So disabling them will save a lot of bandwidth. Next is the command prompt setting. And for that, you need to search for CMD and then run it as administrator. So the first command is net sh winsock reset. Press enter and then you'll see a message like this. It says you must restart your computer in order to complete the reset. Nextly, you need to type in ipconfig slash flush dns and once you're done with that simply restart your pc all right so once you've restarted your pc go into your control panel and over here you need to search for power options once you are in power options scroll down and then select ultimate performance or high performance whichever is showing for you guys simply click on high performance and then close your power options Next is Ethernet properties and this is again a very important step. Go into your control panel once again and then go to network and internet. Then go to network and sharing center. Inside click on Ethernet and then go to properties. Over here you need to select configure and then go to power management and make sure that all three of these checkboxes are unchecked. Then go to advanced and then follow these settings. Make sure that enable PME is enabled. Energy efficient Ethernet is turned off. IPv4 checksum offload is disabled. Then both of these things are disabled. Then link speed battery saver should be disabled. Scroll down and then receive buffers should be set to 256, speed and duplex should be auto negotiation, system idle power saver should be disabled, both of these things should be disabled and these things should be disabled as well. And most importantly, ultra low power mode and then all of these options down here should be off. Then click on OK and then close the Ethernet settings. Now here comes the one of the most important part for Valorant. You need to go and add the firewall for Valorant. Simply search for firewall and then go to Windows Defender Firewall. Over here, go to Advanced Settings. Now in here, go to Inbound Rules and then click on New Rule. Then select Port and then go to Add. Now make sure that TCP is selected and enter the following port. I'll be leaving this port in the description box below this video. So make sure you guys copy and paste this port over here and then click on next and then allow connection, hit next and then make sure that all of these three things should be enabled. Next, name it Valorant TCP and then finish. Nextly, go and hit add rule, again select port, then select UDP and paste this code in here. Click on next and then again do the following steps and this time name it Valorant UDP. 
Now click on finish. Adding Valorant into your inbound rules will allow your game to get passed through the Windows firewall so this will fix your ping related issues and packet loss instantly. Nextly, press your Windows and R key together and then type in services.msc and in here you need to search for delivery optimization. Just over here, go to properties and then startup type should be disabled. Nextly, you need to search for Windows Update and it will be all the way down in this list, just over here. Go to Properties and then make sure to select Disable again. Once you're done with all of those steps, next most important step is Exit Lag. Now, Exit Lag is pro's choice for reducing ping issues, latency, packet loss and much more. If any of those things didn't work for you, exit lag will single-handedly do every single thing for you guys. Just open up exit lag and exit lag should pop up like this. It has a list of over 250 games to choose from and I have shown this application in my Apex, Fortnite, PUBG, GTA 5 and other Valorant videos as well. Simply, you need to search for Valorant from this list and then add Valorant to your list of games. It will automatically analyze the routes for the game, best, most optimal and nearest server for you guys. It will optimize your TCP, UDP and every other thing that is required for better gaming experience. As you guys can see, you can use IPv6 routes you can select your gaming region i live in india so i'm gonna be choosing the indian mumbai 01 server but you can choose from 01 02 03 04 there are many servers for mumbai so you can see the estimated ping over here you need to search for the lowest estimated ping for me mumbai one does the thing and you guys can see i get estimated five ping over here three to five ping that is very normal so simply click on apply routes and valorant will be added to your recents list next go to tools go and then in the general section enable all of these options down over here accuracy should be high then go to fps boost enable the first third fourth and last three options and then you're really good to go all right, so exit lag is not free to use. You need to get the subscription for exit lag since it has free trial for only three days. But if exit lag helps you guys, you can get the subscription plan for exit lag. You can get it for monthly, semi-annual or quarterly. You get the prices for each of them and you get variety of payment methods to pay from. But if it's your first time getting the subscription plan for exit lag, use code bearfox20 to get flat 20% discount and it will help you guys a lot. So choose your subscription wisely. So that was it for this video guys, I hope I could have helped you. If I did, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button. I really want to see that 50k subscribers on my channel. Also, I want to let you guys know that I am working on the Roblox video, so stay tuned, stick around on the channel. We'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox, and peace out.